You know, with all of the water around Del Mar, swimming is a very popular sport amongst children and adults. Yep, it's a great exercise. It offers the kids a chance to be a part of a team. And in today's Day in the Life, Sean Stryker gets a taste of what it's like to be part of a swim team. This is going to be more challenging than it looks. With baseball, lacrosse, football and soccer, there's no shortage of sports for a child to play. But over recent years, one sport has been increasing in popularity. I think the emergence of the U.S. team starting in the 2004, 2008, some of it with Michael Phelps, but as it built with other swimmers becoming much more mainstream with kids, really started putting swimming on the front burner of options for parents for kids to participate in. Scott McIntyre and Ellen Dockstetter are swim coaches for the Barracuda swim team based out of Seaford. They say swimming is a sport where everyone can get involved while learning some important life lessons. I think the parents like the discipline it teaches them. And I think they figure out that it is not, you know, a lot of people think it's an individualized sport, but it really is a team sport. You're in the water with a group of people. They have to support you. Um, you use them to help motivate yourself. While different levels of swimmers practice at varying amounts, the upper level swimmers on the Barracudas are in the water two hours a day, six days a week. They can do anything from five to 5,000 to 7,000 yards, depending on the stroke, the distance, and the focus of that day. They'll also have, we always do a lot of drill and technique work. 30 to 45 minutes is standard for any practice that we do in our warm-ups. Ellen says that technique not only works to make them faster, but also helps prevent injuries. If you take your body really hard a certain way, and it's not a way that is conducive to your body, then you're going to start causing harm to that joint, just like in any sport. So swimming's the same way. If you don't do things that are mechanically correct, and allow your body to move freely, then you cause injuries. And swimming technique is something I know absolutely nothing about. Now don't get me wrong, I can swim, just not very well. So Ellen offered to give me a few pointers. We're gonna start with drop, what we call drop and go, um, where you're gonna learn how to actually go off the wall efficiently um, to set yourself up to swim your stroke. And then just some basic um, freestyle mechanics. All right, so this streamline technique, what is it? It's pretty much the way that you go off of every wall and the way you start every single swim that you do in swimming. So it's very important. It's learn. important. It's the most important part of the of swimming. So I'm going to hop in. Hop on in. There you go. So you're going to hold here. Hands are going to go out there and that and when you go underwater, that you're going to use your eyes are going to follow that hand. You're going to put it right on top of that one and you're going to be I mean so as I tight as you can get. You're going to squeeze your ears basically. Okay, so I let go as I'm pushing. As you, as you go down, you let go and you bring your arm around on top of your other hand. Okay. Ready, Ready go. <laughs> that was okay. We just got to tighten up your arms. So Ellen you offered to give me a few pointers. More, and your legs have as with any sport, practice makes Ready? perfect. So I swam a few more laps looking to perfect my technique. Oh, good. Okay, so I really only swam one more lap. But that's all I figured I needed. All right, so I've been practicing what you taught me. I think I'm ready to race some more. Okay, well, I brought Jimmy over here. <laughs> this is James uh, Barrett. He's going to race a 25 free with you. All right, hey, I'm not going to take it easy on you. Oh, <laughs> that's a drop down. Scott would call that the gauntlet. Stay on your side of the lane, though. You're just doing a 25. Okay, so I'll start you. Swimmers on your mark. Go. Right from the start, I forgot everything Ellen told me, and I watched Jimmy pull away. Nevertheless, he was gracious in his victory. Now, obviously, all this practice is to get the kids ready for the swim meets, which Scott says is a real family affair. At this level, it is a complete family sport. The parents sacrifice a lot, and the parents have been absolutely essential to our success. We always are proud of our parents' organization, whether it's involved in fundraising, we can't run meets without the parents, and they're dedicated to their children. They really are. And after the swimmers move on from the Barracudas, their future in the sport can be endless.
The kids that have swum for us down through the last 15 years, you're talking about kids that are at West Point, captains on major university teams, are pulling down great jobs. We got a kid that had a Fulbright scholarship. We've brought in, these kids have brought in over a million dollars in academic and athletic scholarships. Even if you're not looking to swim competitively in college, a lot of schools offer club teams, which Ellen says is a great way to get involved and meet people. And seeing their swimmers succeed in school and in life is one of the things these coaches enjoy the most. Swimming to us is merely a tool to prepare them for life. That's what our goal is. And we love how these kids progress and become great competitors. But what is most important to us is the kind of person we're sending out into the world. That's what makes our job so rewarding. The Barracudas have a year-round swim team. They also have a summer and winter team. If you're not ready for that type of commitment, by the way, just to let you know, Sean may have been at a slight disadvantage. The summer team is 3-0 and oh so far this season. Yeah. If you'd like a link to learn more, visit our website, WWOC.com, and click on our picture at the top of the page. Wow. Yeah. Scott and Ellen, great coaches. They coached my daughter. She had a great time with them. Awesome. Yeah. Well, while we're talking about competing, there's plenty of it inside the Big Brother house. We'll get an inside look behind the wall next. Wait till you see what's new this season. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back.